Right now, though, we are tracking coronavirus for you tonight. A classroom in 2020 could be a dining room table, the kitchen counter, or even the home office. In Cock County schools, all students move to remote learning Fridays through the end of December. The reason? Contract tracing from positive COVID-19 exposure. WAT6 on your side, reporter Madison Keevy met a Cock County family who opted in to virtual learning from the start. So Madison, what are the challenges now in this East Tennessee School District? Yeah, the right equipment really makes all the difference. When they first opted to go online, a first grade classroom came to life through a cell phone, as you said, sitting at the kitchen counter. A few months in though, mom Bobby splurged on a Chromebook because it's a challenge to learn from a five inch phone. Now she and her first grader are wondering how long will this last? Hi. Say hi. How are we doing? It makes sense. I met the Shelton family virtually. It's how Cammy talks to her first grade class, and earlier, it's where she aced a timed math test. Cammy's mom, Bobby, showed me what a typical day in their at-home classroom looks like. This is a part where where he rides on a wolf. See, he's hanging out to his ear. It's a little bit easier than I thought because she's pretty good with uh, wanting to learn and stuff like that. But the, we do have our days where she just doesn't really want to do it. And of course, it was a lot easier when she was going to school. When they opted in to remote learning, the technical stuff wasn't nearly as challenging as the basics. Just being at home, you know, they get antsy and they get bored. And so it's hard to keep them interested in what's going on. So you got to really keep up and try to make them feel interested in it. A challenge for mom, different than what Cammie has in mind. Like sometimes I miss having snack time. <laughs> Bobby feels lucky. They have access to Wi-Fi. They could afford to buy a Chromebook for Cammie when the cell phone she was learning from just didn't cut it. Aside from helping those, making sure that people are getting those Chromebooks and those tablets, and if they don't have internet at home or like data on their phone even, for like in service wherever they're at, they have, some people have no internet at all. So I see that being a, a big issue for a lot of people. Now I've reached out to the instructional supervisor for kindergarten through 12th grade who oversees the virtual learning programs for the district as well as the director of schools and assistant director of schools to get an update on the status of tablets for students who don't have them. I haven't heard back yet, but in a statement to Facebook, the district has been thanking staff for their work during the pandemic to keep students healthy and up to speed academically. Bo. All right, Madison, thank you. Right now, Cosby Elementary is on a remote learning schedule for the rest of the week. That's due to a large number of absences for staff and students.